morning and welcome back to our channel. Ponies are all turned out and their beds have uh, been left up to dry for the day. So this is a job I'm working on today, the tack room transformation. The story behind this whole absolute mess is that we used to, we've had this yard 20 years. We used to have a lot more land and I had more horses. So my feed room and tack room was over in one of the bigger sheds and my kids had this shed for their stuff. I've got three boys, they're now 20, 18 and 13. So yeah, they used to have this shed for their stuff and I had one of the bigger sheds over the other end of the yard. Um, over time, the landowner has sold off bits of grazing, which we've always, he's always asked us, we've always okayed it because we like the little bit that we've got now. So as he's sold off bits, we've downgraded in the amount of horses. So my kids were starting to whinge that they had no space to get their stuff in here. The entrance to here is just a normal door and a little pathway. So they couldn't get their stuff in here. So I said that I'd move in here and they can have my bigger shed. That was last year. Um, I bought some bits over here, everything that I needed and it was all going well. Um, it was organized, but now the last couple of months, my kids have been doing more in their shed and over time they've just chucked all my stuff out of that shed and put it in here. So that's how I've ended up with this absolute monstrosity of a mess. This side isn't too bad. That's where all the feed is stored. Um, but yeah, so now it's time for me to tackle this. A lot of this, as I say, was left in their shed. So clearly I didn't need it or didn't use it. So we're gonna go through all this, throw away anything that is old and broken. And I will send anything that is reusable to a horse rescue center or something. But yeah, I am not buying any new sheds or units for this. This is all just being done with what we've got. So these two shelf units, they have now screwed to the wall for me. So we're gonna make use of them. Over time, in time, I might buy new units and stuff to store everything better. But at the moment, we're just gonna go with what we've got. So Lewis is gonna start this side, although it's not too bad. I have, like that, I've kept broken buckets for just in case but it's time for it all to go now. Um, rearrange everything. I have no idea whose saddle that is. It's none of my current horses. So that will be sent straight to the rescue, see if they can either sell it or use it. Rearrange your head collars, and he will do this side because I think that will just be a, a clean up and reorganize. And I will start tackling this side. I just can't move. There's a random chair in here as well. Um, yeah, so let's get doing this.
put in the back of the horse box. So that's another job to do.
So what I was trying to do with these shelf units was put donuts rugs up here. I know he wouldn't have many because he just grows so quickly. So he hasn't got many. So I thought I'd put the new ones over here, then use this for, I thought I'd fit Champ and Gambler in together. They're the same size rugs. They sort of mix rugs between them, but I don't think I'm gonna fit everything there. This was meant to be Willow's. Clearly he's a spoiled pony because all that down there is Willow's as well. And we're not even through the pile yet. That one's Willow's. Um, yeah, Willow's six foot three. So I'm keeping his away from Gambler and Champ who are six foot. So I am gonna have to get another rug storage, but we're gonna organize it enough today. And then I'm gonna have to look into that one. And then I'll go on to this bit in a minute. I've got some boxes for this, but that will be the waterproof um, saddle covers and any ride-on sheets and anything, and then bandages and boots on another one. But we'll come to that in a minute. I'm just finishing sorting these rugs. But yeah, there's so much stuff here. Still got stallion tack and driving reins from when Gambler drove. We don't need them anymore. We haven't got a cart to drive him with. And a random kid's old toy box that I used to put grooming brushes in. So I'm surprised that's still going. That must be 20 years old, that box. But yeah, I'm gonna sort through all this stuff now. You know when you've made such a mess elsewhere and still feel like you're getting nowhere. But yeah, my son made me these jumps. So we've got another pair to go out in the school. So I'm gonna get Lewis to take them over. I've got loads of brooms, shovels, forks. So I'm just gonna clear this and store all that there and put away these rugs. So I'm going to sort out this shelf unit in a minute, but I'm just putting the numbers up there out the way. And we are now going to see what is in this box. Um, this one, I think, is a first aid kit. We have loads of them around here, because as I say, I've got three teenage boys. Yeah, first aid kit. 
just anything to stop them bleeding till they get home. So let's find a home for that one. Up here in a minute. Sort that shelf out in a minute. But yeah, we've got first aid kits everywhere, just in case. But yeah, oh, another bonnet. Look at that. All the bonnets are in there at the moment. So let's see what is in here. Grooming brushes. There's another shedding blade. Oh, I think that's been trodden on as well sometime in the past like this one right we're going to go through all these brushes and see what we can throw away so here it's a nice tidy clean tack room it is still got a lot to do but i just feel that i can walk around everywhere now and get to everything so over here these are everything needs washing now but i'm going to leave that for another day um i want to get a whip holder um up on the wall because i don't know how else to store the whips but these are just bins for any overflow of food through the winter because my chaff bin is there lunging equipment champ's bridle an array of head collars spare head collars um control ones for gambler because he can get strong grazing muzzle um my breakfast and dinner feeds are stored in there and then the mix bin is here got rid of the saddle but Lewis's uh, body protectors are up there I've had to keep the paint up here because it will not be long before I start repainting stables there's a platen kit and over each boots their rugs that Champ and Willow wear at night time and then the chicken food bin I seem to have a hell of a lot of brooms and I didn't realize I had them I've been using the broken broom because I didn't know they were there um, I'm hoping this lot will move but we're on we're at the yard on our own today so I don't know where all that can go in my other half's sheds um, of course we've got the grandson's tractor that's just gonna live there that's easy for him to get hold of now though um, water drums for the shows spare water buckets and everything for the stables general everyday bridles and then I am going to have to find another way to store all those rugs. I didn't actually realise we had that many. But yeah, donuts are on the top. Champ and Gambler mixed in there. Willow on the bottom. And most of these are all Willows. Um, so yeah, I'll find more storage for that. And then here, what we've got is yet another spare grooming bag. I have loads of brushes. We need to go through all the brushes now and see what I can get rid of. This is winter, wet weather clothing and a ride on fly sheet. Um, just saddle covers and a waterproof ride on sheet. In this one, we've got brushing boots and ear bonnets. I need to find another way to store the numbers. These are not our nice numbers, to be fair. The nice ones are at home with the saddles, but I need to find some way to store that and then down the bottom is just um, a bucket of hay nets and then spare pair of boots then in here we haven't done this today but it wasn't long ago before i done this so it's not too bad all the bottom is all show stuff show grooming um bags show products sponges baby wipes and then we've got loads of poultice stuff. I always buy it in bulk. And um, that's all stuff needed for injured horses. Um, no, that's the tack cleaning one. Scissors, Gamgee, more vet wrap, everything for an injured horse is straight in there. Then shampoos, this is all lickets and stuff like that. That's some more overreach boots, thermometers and weigh tapes, easy to get to. This is all Christmas clothing for the horses. Then up here, we've got bits, um, stirrups, leathers, everything that you can think of and just hoof oil and fly stuff. So that's not too bad, but I will go through that another day. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out.
Liz is all knackered now. He's put, I put that chair outside. I threw that away. Why would you throw it away? It's a nice chair. <laughs> See, this is why I nice end up chair. with stuff. I was using that as a chair because that's what I use if I have to clap the horses for dressage or anything. I always use that to sit on for my cup of tea of the morning and he's brought in an old chair. But yeah, so there's still more to be done in here. But as I say, I can move now. I can find everything. So I'm happy. But if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you.